tortillas by hand. The hardest thing to get is this right here. It is a food grinder, but it's not very expensive. $25, $30. Look for my links. I'll show you where to get this. Next, we need corn. I have two different kinds of corn. I'm going to experiment. I'm always trying out different types of corn. Here's what I found out. So far, I've tried getting fancy gourmet corn, corn online, things like that. Best corn, best tortillas. This stuff right here, feed corn, chicken feed, right there, that's all you need. Um, I don't know why, the tortillas just end up better, and it's super cheap. I go to a source, put it down in my links again, for non-GMO organic whole grain corn. Key is the corn has to be whole, you don't want broken kernels. As a matter of fact, to clean this out, I pull out all of the broken kernels. This is a specialty corn I found at a, a Latino market. And I'm going to try this out. Never tried it before, but it's kind of a purple corn, really pretty. I may end up mixing the two. Other thing you need, lime. Not the fruit lime, pickling lime or calcium hydroxide lime. This is one ounce of pickling lime. It's about a quarter cup of uncompacted lime. So that's ready to go. The corn here, this batch is about three pounds of corn. This batch over here is a little bit less than I, and therefore have a little bit less pickling lime. But you know what? The, the exact amounts don't matter all that much. The lime is important because it creates a chemical reaction that breaks down the coating of the seed on the kernels. This enables the kernels to soften and it also makes certain nutrients available. It makes a healthier and easier to grind corn. For the three pounds of corn, I have about one gallon of water here. It's just about boiling, so I'm going to add the corn in here. Now if you want, you can pre-mix your lime with water, um, but it works just as well if you put it in here. Just be really careful. Don't breathe in the dust from this lime. It's, it's, uh, it'll burn your lungs. It's pretty dangerous, actually. So. When you put that lime in, you'll notice a chemical reaction starting, and the color of the corn will actually change. Right now, before it's cooked, the corn comes about halfway up into the water. So if, even if you don't measure the water out, I usually don't. I just kind of eyeball it, put it all together. But you don't want the corn to be touching the top of the water because it's going to start soaking in water. And by tomorrow morning, it's going to grow to a much larger amount. So there's got to be enough water in there to give to the corn to absorb. Now while it's simmering, take out a kernel. Be careful they're hot. And you want to check them for doneness by rubbing that kernel between your fingers and seeing if the skin comes off. This, this batch of corn is almost done, I can tell by its kernels. This one here, different kind of corn, so it may take a different amount of time. Yeah, this one may need just a few more minutes. Okay, after about 10 minutes, it looks like this one is done too. Turn off the heat on that. Alright, after the corn has been soaked for uh, either overnight or a full day, I'm now in the next afternoon, we're going to wash this corn off. And it's washing, it's not just rinsing, but you really are going to want to scrub this to try to get all of the skin off of the corn. We'll do multiple scrubbings and multiple rinsings. Look at how dirty that water is. You want that water to be nearly clean when you're done with this. Oh, 
Okay, we have a corn clean grinder set ready to go. It's on a medium tension. Start putting the corn in the hopper and grind away. Now we're going to add water to the masa. Being very careful to not add too much water. You can always add more water later. It's very hard to take water out if you add too much water. This is what the masa should look like after the first grind. Pretty soft, but not gooey, not sticky to the hands. For the second grind, we need to increase the tension a little bit. This time we have to squeeze down, so to protect my fingers, I'm going to use a masher. Keep the masses from falling down. Put the spoil shield up. There. After the second grinding, the masa is much finer and smoother. From the two different types of corn, I have two very different colors of masa. Now I could make separate yellow and blue tortillas, but I'm going to actually mix these two together to make uh, to get an average quality out of both of the masses. But one thing that's kind of fun to do, take a little bit of this off to the side. And we can also make swirly tortillas. Pretty. I've used my scale to measure out three and three quarter ounce balls of masa. If you don't have a scale, that is approximately two to two and a quarter inch in diameter balls of masa. And then I have from a Ziploc, a quart Ziploc bag, that's about seven inches in diameter. I've cut these circles, and these are going to be my guides for building the tortillas. Start by forming a disc. Dab a small amount of water on the side that makes contact with the plastic.
Got a non-stick pan or griddle, preheated to medium to high heat. What I'm going to do is invert the tortilla in my hand, grab an edge of the plastic so that I'm ready for it, set it down in the pan, tear the plastic off, and wait for it to sear the uncooked side, but don't let it cook all the way through. As soon as you can start seeing translucent spots where it's about to cook through, it is ready to flip first time. You can see that just barely red on the burner there. We want to just create some brown spots on the bottom so we can give it a check. That looks like it's ready to go. Next side. You can see that tortilla is inflating in the center. Set that on a cloth. Invert the tortilla. Peel the plastic. Set it in the pan. Tear the plastic off. As soon as it starts to darken, it's ready to flip. Okay, we're going to purposely do one wrong so that you see what happens. I made one spot on this tortilla much too thin, and then we're also going to try overcooking it a little bit and see what happens. See right there, the thin spot is cooking through way too quickly. Now it's starting to cook through on this side, it's starting to get darker. This is where it cooked through before it got flipped. Still edible, just a tougher tortilla. And this is what the final tortillas look like. Look at the beautiful colors. Thick, delicious, soft tortillas. You can see the ones that inflated have two sides to them. Thank mm -hmm. you.